Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today, we'll have a look at a study where NMN was used in conjunction with CAR T cells as a cancer therapy. It was shown that NMN increased the lifespan of the T cells, as well as made them more effective at killing cancer cells in vitro and in vivo. Firstly, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a paper that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the study. Nicotinamide mononucleotide enhances the efficacy and persistence of CD19 CAR T cells via NAD plus SIRT1 axis. It is currently in preprint, so has not been peer reviewed yet. A quick summary of the paper. Chimeric antigen receptor or CAR T cells have been shown to be able to have significant impact on blood-based cancers, which are otherwise difficult to target. However, they do have drawbacks, particularly with poor persistence, which is to say the cells die off quite quickly. NMN has been shown to have anti-aging effects and increase NAD levels. But whether these effects would work on CAR T cells has not been studied. They saw that NMN in vitro helped maintain the number of proliferative stem cell-like memory cells and memory cells, as well as lengthen telomeres and improve proliferation while reducing senescence and apoptosis. In vivo, they showed that it reduced tumor growth in a mouse model. In conclusion, NMN enhances the efficacy and longevity of CD19 CAR T cells via the NAD plus SIRT1 axis. I wanted to provide some background on a couple of the topics in the paper. The first is CAR T cells and their use in cancer therapy. As always, this is my very simplified explanation. CAR stands for chimeric antigen receptor, and it is a therapy used for relapsed tumors and especially for blood-based cancers. But there are issues with the therapy as the T cells do not persist or become senescent. Here is how it works. Some blood is taken from the cancer patient and the T cells are extracted. The T cells are modified to have an antigen receptor on the surface, which will recognize the cancer cells. They are cultured to grow more of them and infused back into the patient. As they originally came from that person, there should not be any rejection issues. These modified T cells are now primed to recognize a protein on the surface of the cancer cell and kill it. There are various different types of T cells. The memory T cells are the ones which recognize specific markers such as the proteins on the outside of the cancer cells. TSCMs or stem memory T cells can self-renew and have long-term survival capacity. They maintain the immunological memory of pathogens. TCMs or memory T cells can trigger affected T cells to kill infected cells. Since these cells act as the memory and differentiate into the affected T cells, they are important to optimize the immune response. The first test they did was with human cancer cells in vitro, which had been treated with CAR T cells. After 28 days, the untreated CAR T cells had all died, whereas the ones that had been treated with 100 micromolar NMN had continued to proliferate. The second chart is looking at the percentage of cancer cells lysed or killed over time, where the rounds were one week apart. We can see that over time, the NMN treated cells retained their efficacy better than the untreated ones. As we discussed earlier, the number of TSCM and TCM cells in the culture is important for the longevity of the T cells. Initially, they were the same at about 10% of the population. But by round three, the NMN treated cells still had 5%, whereas the untreated was closer to 2%. NMN also helped maintain the telomere length, which is measured by the TS ratio. For TSCM cells, in which proliferation is a key function, the telomere length is important, otherwise the cell will go into senescence or apoptosis. And indeed, they did see that the number of senescent cells, as measured by beta-gal expression, was lower, as was the percentage of apoptotic cells. So they wanted to see if the process would also work in vivo. For this, they used nod-skid mice, which is a strain of mouse with very low immune protection. The CAR T cells for one group were treated with NMN 24 hours before the injection. 
Cancer was induced in the mice with CAR-T treatment initiated. The NMN group also had 300 milligrams per kilogram per day of NMN injected during the trial. They used luciferin to be able to visualize the tumors in the mice. The CAR-T was effective at reducing the tumor growth, but the CAR-T plus NMN was more effective, and we can see this increased over time, which would make sense as one of the functions of the NMN was to increase the longevity and viability of the CAR-T cells. Part of the study that we did not cover showed that inhibiting CERT1 significantly reduced the effect of the NMN, showing that the mechanism of action was through CERT1. In summary, the study showed the clinical potential of NMN to help CAR-T therapy by making the cells more viable, proliferative, and long-lived, leading to greater anti-tumor efficacy. So further investigation is required to understand the mechanisms. Interesting to see NMN being used as part of an anti-cancer therapy and having a positive effect on the CAR-T cell. It does seem promising for its use in conjunction with the CAR-T therapy. Mm -hmm.